everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Brianna Ray from BriIY here to bring you Wreck This Journal Part 5, finally. It has been a hot minute since I started doing this series and I started kind of doing it as a, let's say a bonus video every so often. Um, and you would have no way of knowing this, but I do like to film a lot of videos all in one sitting and then I edit them slowly and upload them pretty far in advance. So it has been quite a while since I've done a Wreck This Journal video, probably a couple of months, um, but I think it's time that I finally bring it back. I've got some ideas and I am ready to roll. I'm not going to spoil too much of what's happened on these pages, but you are going to have to go look at the old videos to see what's going on back there. Um, but I have some pretty significant ideas for this, though I can't do it all in one day. This one that I have an idea for is going to require a little bit of pre-planning, uh, mostly because I have no idea how to film while in motion. Um, I wanted to just kind of run around outside of my apartment, but that seems like a weird move. The next page we're going to do is fill this page with circles, and the last page that we'll do today is document your dinner, rub, smear, splatter your food, use this page as a napkin. Um, so let's get started with our first page here. I'm actually going to keep it just to this side since this side's got some holes in it from some of our older experiences. Um, <laughs> feel free to go watch episode four to see what this is all about. Um, but for this one, I wanted to do something kind of based in perspective and kind of do a looking down the road sort of look uh, with uh, buildings on either side just to kind of make sure something it is something that can be created with a lot of lines. Um, and I'm going to do it nicely here, and then while I'm in motion, I'm going to try to color over it and see how straight I can get. That is my master plan. I kind of need to decide where my horizon point's going to be. Uh, I'm going to arbitrarily choose right there. It's not even centered on the page. Come on. I'm doing these in pencil. That way later I can go over them in a like permanent ink probably and laugh at how badly I did. <laughs> I know this is not how you do perspective. I know I probably should have got the string and then done the whole string thing, but uh, I didn't. So um, this is just what we're going to roll with. This one I'm a lot more excited about, um, and I do intend to use markers. So again, I'm going to stick to the single page instead of both. Uh, but this one is all about filling it with circles. And I have this idea where I want to do kind of like an emoji themed page. So I have a bunch of different circular shaped things that I'm going to trace around and around and around until I have uh, like five or six circles on here. There we go. Got quite a few shapes in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each of these circles an emoji face. Now with the basic lines all drawn in, I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to lighten all of these lines so that I can still see them, but that they don't uh, get too into the markers I'm about to trace over them with. I'm going to be using a new set of markers that I got. It is the Parku brush markers, uh, very similar to the Ohu'u's, and I love them a lot, so I was really excited to get to use them on this. First things first is I'm going to take the brush nib side situation, and I'm going to outline all of the circles. That way I can kind of create that shadow that you see in a lot of emojis. And from there, I'm going to layer in a lighter yellow for the face, and then probably use a fine liner or Sharpie marker to do the black bits. Um, I know I have the heart eyes and little pieces here and there that might need to be a little bit darker that I'm going to do with the marker still. But the predominant colors I'm going to be using here are these yellows. I'm going to be using this lighter blue for the little drop and of course a orangey red color. This is the one that um, I've been using in place of a red with this set and it has been working great. So let's go. Oh, 
Honestly, I hated these most of the time making them, but now that we're just about done and I'm kind of adding in these finishing touches, I suppose it's not so terrible. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, I've, I've made worse stuff, I suppose. Um, I'm just kind of finalizing by adding these uh, black outlines around the entirety of the shapes just to kind of add in some final little bits of definition. Truthfully, I've been enjoying not taking this book all too seriously. It's definitely made creating a little bit more fun and a little bit more conceptual, which I'm enjoying. Let's move on to our last page. I totally forgot to, uh... <laughs> Put something on the back so the markers wouldn't bleed, obviously. I can't believe I just now realized that. However, I also find the concept of this page super gross around so I don't feel like rubbing food on a book. Um, I just, I don't think I could bring myself to do it. So instead of doing that, I'm going to draw the tacos that I had, uh, because they were amazing. And instead, I am going to treat it like a napkin, and I'm going to do a little, uh, smooch there, and a little fingerprint to kind of simulate, you know, wiping my hands and mouth. All right, so I added on here just a plain piece of cardstock that I uh, double-sided taped to the page. That way it would look a little bit cleaner by the time I was done. Obviously the whole point is to wreck the journal, but I'd still like to be able to see all the hard work I'm putting in. So uh, I guess what I'm going to do here is draw my taco. Um, so I guess... For me, that's gonna have to be kind of like a sideways situation, um, and I do want it to kind of come up like this. I don't really do hard shelled tacos all too often, so this is in fact a soft shell taco, but you know, for aesthetic purposes, I am just going to kind of leave it the way that it is, looking like a hard shell taco, as it does. Um, so, normally what I have on these is sweet potatoes, so I normally have them diced, so I guess I'll just kind of throw in my sweet potato chunks here. So there are my sweet potato chunks. I also have little strips of poblano peppers. Then I got little tomato and onion. And, um, well, I don't know, let's just call this the, I do like a lime cream on top. All right, now with all that mess done, uh, again, I'm going to kind of lighten up these lines a little bit. Um, and I'm, instead of using the Ohus or the uh, Parkus, as I did on the last page, I'm going to switch to my Tombos. <sighs> So first I think I'm going to grab like a brownish shade, probably from my skin tone collection here, uh, and start kind of creating the outlines of my shapes, and then I'll fill in probably with a pastel collection. That is, I think, the move. I don't need to waste any more of your time, so I am going to hyperlapse through this. Truth be told, I probably could have picked a color that doesn't stain so aggressively, but I'm just about finished with my taco. Now for my little lip print. And there we have it. Decided to go with my orange lipstick to kind of tie in the whole vibe. Uh, and of course, a little bit of shadow underneath just to give it a little, little something, but yeah, there's my taco. I was about to wrap up my filming for today, but you know what? I think I have the time and maybe the energy to wander outside and see if I can finish this guy up. So I went and grabbed whatever colors called to me. I was feeling kind of pastel. And I think I'm gonna take you guys on a little field trip with me and we are going to film me trying to draw over these lines while in motion. Just as a little FYI, I am wildly uncomfortable filming outside of my house. I can't even film with my boyfriend slash fiance in the house. So this is gonna be weird for me, but um. The only place that I could find that is even remotely private is right outside my front door. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna walk around this tree on hyperlapse and see what happens. Um, also, no makeup, no judgment. Um, and I think I'm gonna do different lines, like the different angles and different colors. And I think I'm gonna start with the lightest first. So, let's do this. 
So the added challenge of that was dizziness and started tripping towards the end, but um, I'm, I'm truly an artist. <laughs> I think that is all I have for you today. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new utter nonsense every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I'd love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much, and I hope to see you then. <laughs> Bye.